What is up, Flock Phoenix? Really here. I don't know why I clapped there. <laughs> Welcome back to the Farming Sim 19 Mod Spotlight. We got a lot to cover today, so let's jump right into it. So first things first, let's uh let's hop in the uh, the 6M. Yeah, 6M. Start there. And let's roll. Let's roll over here. Check out the options. So this is different, right, than what we have in what? How? Let's actually compare. Because I think what we have in is also the 6M in game. Uh, we have a 6M and a 6R. So 6M is okay. It's the edit. Wait. So this is the one I, I wanted. So let's compare all three. Why not? Oh, hey. Okay, so these two are mods. So let's buy the in-game one. Yeah, I'm just buying them all standard. I'm not adding anything to them or anything. Kind of weave our way through the maze. Okay, so this is the in game. This is a mod. Well, we've definitely got more lights on it. And you can see it's got the lights up top. And definitely different wheel options than what's in the game. What's the difference here? We've definitely got more lights to it. Well, those are oval, those are circular. Front ends are. This is actually looks like a, a little bit bigger. And of course, it's got this the three point attacher on the front. Sides. I'm pretty sure these two are the same on the sides. A bit different. In the back. Check out the back. Those look almost identical. Actually, that one looks. Why does it look skinny? Maybe it's just because of the wheels. Okay, so yeah, they're different. Alright, so let's take the mods first. Let's do the 6R first. This is definitely a little bit bigger than what the other one, than those two are. Okay, right. customize. We can have 6 6230R, 6250R, 6230. So we can have either 6230 or 6250 wheels. Uh, we have standard, wide, twin, twin rear, wheel weights, wide tires and wheel weights. So let's just go, let's go twin wheels. Uh, front loader attacher, yes. That's nice. Um, would it, what would that be under? Front loaders. Bye. Yes. Okay. Watch this be over here where I'm not going to be able to squeeze into. There we go. Alright, so let's see if it attaches. The attachers work. It's so loud over here. That hooks. The three point attacher. Actually, let's ditch this real quick. Catcher works. I hope it works for this one. It does. And back attacher. Excuse me. I'm going to break it. Thank you. Thank you. And 
and that works. Okay, so let's turn on the lights. Lights work. Beacons work. What about our blinkers? They work. Oh. Let's go here and get this train moved. So, it's a nice little tractor. Um, it's a something that we don't already have in game, which is which is a plus. So I'll give it a five out of five. Everything works. It looks good. Sounds good. Carrot. You don't have carrots in game. Maybe that's a maybe that's a foreshadowing. It's coming. Still down? Okay. So this is the mod. We're not going to worry about doing the in-game one. This is the mod, though. Let's take over here. See the op Oof. options. Customize. Who? Wait. What was that? Let me see if I can read that. From Elite Modding Quebec. Customize. So we got wheels. Standard. 360 kilogram front weight. Oh, that's... Okay, I'm looking for wheel... I'm dumb. I thought it was wheels. Ooh. Hello, that's a lot of weight on the front end. If you know what I'm saying. Anyway, engine setup, 6135M, 6145M, 6155M, 6155M plus chip tuning. Well, we're going to go with the chip tuning. Why not? Front loader design or front fender... Ah, let's uh, let's go no front fender. That looks naked. Let's put the front fender back on it. Um, front loader attacher, sure. Oh wait, this has got more options. Okay, here's the wheel setup. Have row crop, height, wheel, wheel weight. I'm guessing that's supposed. To, it's that's funny. All right, back duels. Oh, that looks good. Back dual weights. Back dual weight two. All duels. All dual weight. All du dual weight two. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I like uh. Let's do this. I like this setup. Customize. Yes. Looking good there, Billy. Oh, that looks really good, actually. Lights, camera, action, we have lights all the way around. Ooh, yeah, we got blinkers all the way around. Hello. What about beacons? We have one bacon. Interior, I'm pretty sure it's just the same interior. Actually, I didn't look at the interior in the other one since it's new, different. Now I have to back this up. My help we get from underneath that trailer. It connects. Just see if it connects down here. Next, awesome. Let's go see it. Make sure the front motor arms work. They do. All right. So this deer, we're gonna go ahead and give a, uh, a five out of five as well. Uh, it, I, I think it, it adds a lot to the the in-game tractor. The wheels look a lot better. Um, I like that they add the the blinkers on each each or on the corners up front. That's pretty cool. So I'll give it five out of five. It's a nice edit of in-game truck or truck tractor. Don't mind me. I'm taking a drink because it's what what's in that tea. Making me feel good. No. Alright. Uh, next up we have the Adar 
from custom modding. Let's drive our way through the maze here. Let's see what options they they've given us on this little beauty here. Alright, so customize. We have configuration, we have the weight on the front. Wheel brand. Oh. Row crop wheel weights. Row crop back dual. Row crop dual. Row crop. Goodyear. Oh, we only have one option for Goodyear. That kind of sucks. All right. Engine setup. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven. I like the eighty three seventy R, so we're gonna go eighty three seventy R, and then we're gonna go Michelin or no, not Michelin Firestone. Uh, and we're going to go duels all the way around. Customize. Yes. Oh, dang. Me likey. Me likey a lot. I don't know. I like these duels much better than... Much better? Uh, I like them a whole lot more than the uh, in-game stuff. The in-game stuff... Eh, not a huge fan of those. I like these. These are good. These make me happy. That hooks. That hooks. We have the lights. We have flankers. And we have beacons. So again, Another awesome edit for the in-game, uh, in-game tractor. Um, I, I love. I'm gonna give it five out of five because I love the wheel options. I'm all about them, them options, yo. All about them options. No, uh, I really do like the the more American style wheel options on on the tractors. Actually, it's actually more American style overall. So that's nice. Uh, next up is again the 8RT. Again, more Americanized. We have lats. We have blankers. We have bacons. We have Kevin Bacons. Whip her in here like so. Let's uh, customize. Configuration. This just adds the weight to the front. Yeah. Uh, engine setup. 83, let's see, we have two options, we have the 8370 RT and 8345, let's go 8345. Wheel setup, we have standard 3 meter, is that what it is, 3 meter? 3 meter large, oh dang, yes. Yes, customize, yes, so much yes. So this one again, we'll go 5 out of 5. I love the, the track options on it. Beautiful looking tractor. It's awesome. So 5 out of 5 again on that. Uh, okay, so next up we have the 8970. A big John Deere. Something that we're lacking. We don't have no 9Rs in the, in the game. Oop, it's got headlights shining. Lights work. Yeah. And we have... Okay, that's weird. Can I see the lights moving at the top? It's definitely got its problems. Customize. 
wheel setup. Wheel weights. Twin wheels. Standard. Let's go twin wheels. Yes. But that's not what we care about anyway, because we want to see if it will it was cultivator, because the uh, the case and the uh, challenger both have a hard time pouring the tie tie pulling this cultivator. So we're gonna see if this John Deere will pull it. I feel it's not because it's struggling to get up this hill with this thing. Let alone pull it. Given else he's got captain. I mean it does it, just one mile per hour. So I'm gonna give it I'll give it four out of five. I mean it does work. Uh it's, it's I think it's a little bit underpowered uh compared to the other big tractors in the game. Let's see what it's got, actually. Uh, large tractors. So, this one has 525, 536, 480. But, I mean, it's an older tractor, so it makes sense, I guess. Um, but the real reason I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 is the... Uh, just some small cosmetic issues like these lights are these are the front ones the same it's like they're not it's like they're not attached to the cab when you turn I don't know if anyone else sees that all the lights are doing it oh boy all the lights on the cab are doing it that's odd um, and then of course like the lights that stay on on the rear and then the front at all times you can cycle through it and they stay on and then the blinkers what the heck going on outside? The semi truck is on by um, they're a bit off so we'll give it a 4 out of 5 Next up, we have this pretty pink Pete. So I featured this one last week. Uh, I featured it again because it seems like they got their stuff worked out. So we're going to go over here and test it out. I just changed the colors to make sure it works before I featured it again. And I also want to see if they've upped the uh, horsepower on it. That's a sign of success. That's not. Alright, so let's, uh, trucks, I think it's this one. Nope, it's this one? Yeah. Okay, so we have design color. Uh, let's make that lime green. Oh, no, let's, uh, let's make that black. Uh, main color, let's make it that. Let's make that lime green. And then, of course, main color, let's make 
Find lime green. Yeah, there we go. I'm wondering if the design color. Well, that didn't. Oh, wait. It's over here. I was say that didn't work. Aha! We have it here. Yeah, so I think the design color, the first green we picked, is the steering wheel. I think you can change the steering wheel options. So let's hook up to this here semi-trailer. I don't know why that train always wants to stop right there. Seems to be doing okay up the hill. About the same as the in-game truck, but it's got a little bit more power to it. That's what I wanted to test out. Yeah, let's see if it does the same thing as the other one did. I have to expect that to happen. We're going over railroad tracks, so. Alright, so it's come to a complete stop. Not gonna climb that hill. Okay, so maybe this is about the same as power wise. But luckily we have this handy dandy. Nope, still not gonna go. Okay, so we're gonna give it a 4 out of 5. Uh, it still needs a little bit of power to it. Um, but at least they got the colors working and, and it looks good. So we'll give it a 4 out of 5. I jumped kind of high there. Wow, I'm like Mario. Alright. You know what? We'll use this for the next, uh, our next mod, which is this header trailer. So, the in game trailers are really not big enough for the John Deere, the big John Deere grain header. It hangs over a lot. So, we're going to see if this one does any better. It's supposed to be designed for it. That's what people are, are what they were advertising on the mod page. So it looks bigger. Just kind of push these out a little bit. Oh might help if we turn the right way. Oh, I think it's going to fit with ease. Oh, dang. Heck yeah, buddy. Heck yeah, alright, so we got a new header trailer. New Gear 5, five that's something I was complaining about uh, on release night. The fact that they didn't have an actual header trailer to fit this monstrosity. 
So we're gonna give that header trailer five out of five. Uh, much needed, in my in my opinion. In my opinion. All right, let's hop in the six M here, and then let's go back uh, for another thing I was really hoping for. Let's hope it works. It's supposed to be an auto load bail trailer. We're gonna check it out though. Make sure it does. Hopefully, I still have all these bales. Whip it, flip it, and reverse it. I'm not seeing anything about. Maybe this is not the bale all load bale trailer. We're gonna alt tab and look real quick. My games, my games, my games. Talking about my games, my games. I know I'm retarded. Um. Evidently, it's not it. Okay, never mind. So I apparently didn't put the right. Well, I put the mod in, but it's a different. It's, you have to go download it somewhere else or some dumb crap. So that's gonna do it for the day's mod spotlight, guys. Sorry about that. Sorry for getting your hopes up. Uh, I was getting excited too. So we'll, we'll. I'll make sure I have it in for the next time around. But if you guys did like this mod spotlight, be sure to leave a like down below. If you guys want to see future farming sim. 19 mod spotlights be sure to click subscribe and as always thank you so very very much for watching and i shall see you guys next time bye